I rented out an entire movie studio, hired professional actors, and challenged my brother to try to see if we could actually make 100 movies in 24 hours. Why don't we do the Where's Rachel scene from That's Dark Knight? Where's Rachel? Come on now, where is it? Where are we? <laughs> My brother and I have the same 100 movie prompts on a piece of paper, but it's up to us and our team to determine exactly how those movies are going to look and play out. This is my first movie. And action. What did I tell you? I told you don't wear a cardigan! And now you're gonna come here with this robe? Don't wear the cardigan, Jared! Wow! Yeah, feel that. Holy cow, great performance. <laughs> Don't wear the cardigan. According to the dictionary, a movie is a story or event recorded by a camera as a set of moving images. So technically speaking, what you just saw was a movie. Yeah, so we just started doing rap music video. So you wanna learn how to rap? and you don't want to do it like crap, well, I'm going to teach you the steps. These are the steps you got to take to be a rapper. Cut. Great. Here we got the life of every Premiere Pro user. Uh, and then you're just like frustrated. You're like, Premiere keeps crashing on yeah. me. Yeah. Rolling and action. Connor House, that edit look. Wouldn't you know it, Premiere Pro crashed again. Why don't you throw a little blue? Yeah, I like blue. Good call, good call. That's right. I'm the director. You may have noticed my brother has a team of filmmakers by his side. That's because he has almost no filmmaking experience. So I wanted to give him a proper leg up. I'm the director. This is the Wham Wow. It's called Wham Wow because after, after you wham it, you're going to go wow. It is the Wham Wow and you can even use it as a hat. Now I'm a pirate. Cut! Perfect! Walk out that was good. I love it. My brother has a big team and I'm all by myself. Action! Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if my footage is gonna hold up next to my brother's. Even though I have all this experience, I am just one person. I'm choosing not to really use any lights because I just want to get all these movies done as quickly as possible. Whereas I'm noticing that he and his team are setting up full light rigs. You got it. Don't quit on me. Don't quit. You feel it? Recreating the scene from Psycho with the shower curtain. You got me in the shower. And action. What's going on? Can't a guy take a shower in privacy anymore? Action. Hasta la vista, baby. Weird motivational speaker while we're already in that. Do you struggle with walking into a room and forgetting why you're there? Nice. Can I see that Shopee? I'll mark it off. Now we only had this studio space for about six hours total. And later in this video, you'll see that we had about six hours to edit as well. Well, thanks to my team, we've done about 20 movies already. Have a seltzer. Ooh, I love a seltzer. Everything's looking pretty nice for them, but I know they're really slow because they got so many people involved. I'm going to switch things up a little bit. We're switching actors and every 30 minutes, we're gonna spin the Wheel of Fun. This made the challenge even more difficult. On the Wheel of Fun, are different cameras. Some are good and some are bad. Whichever camera we landed on, that's what we had to use to shoot our movies for that period. And rolling. Uh, yeah, I got an iPad from 2015. The footage looks like a potato and I do not think any of these are gonna hold up. We'll do our best with what we got, I guess. My brother, however, landed on the $15,000 cinema camera. Canon Cinema, yes! It's gonna be better than David's iPad. My brother truly had a massive advantage, not just because of the camera, but because of his cinematographer and assistant director. As you can see with some of the shots on this $15,000 camera and with the lighting expertise that Chris has, footage looked way better than anything I was getting. But that's where today's sponsor comes in to help. With Storyblocks, you can have super high quality, amazing footage for your videos and you don't have to shoot any of it at all. Using the link in the description, you can sign up for Storyblocks and see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say you want an epic shot of the ocean. Check. A guy running down the streets of New York. Check. A tiger on a green screen that you could then stick on top of that person running down the city in New York City. Check. All of your stock footage needs for your productions are available on Storyblocks. And of course, they have 4K, 1080p, super high quality resolution for all of your videos. I've been using Storyblocks for years, and I think any filmmaker, whether you make 100, 1, or just simple YouTube videos, can use Storyblocks. So please use my link in the description below to learn more about Storyblocks. We were at the last 35 minutes of the shoot day, but we were only halfway through our 24 hour challenge. And I still had about 10 movies I had to make. And the camera that I had to shoot on was a drone. Drone! 
Drones are great for filming aerial shots, but not so great when you're using it just as a normal camera. In fact, when we were trying to finish our last sequence of the day, the worst thing that could possibly happen happened. Uh, so the drone overheated. <laughs> this is not good, this is not good. <laughs> Because drones usually have blades spinning, they're able to actually cool themselves while they're recording. But because the drone wasn't flying in the air, it was overheating because it wasn't getting any wind from the blades. Until finally... <laughs> All right, it worked! It's working! So unfortunately, we're gonna have to be really clever with this. I need to actually maybe go film an actual drone shot outside even though it's about to start raining. We decided to take our chances and film some shots outside in the rain, which was probably not a good idea. So we quickly ran back inside to shoot our last movie. I'm all out of peanut butter. Not only are we all out of peanut butter, <laughs> but that's a wrap. Well, it has been a day and we have filmed so much and honestly couldn't have done anything without everybody who was there. I did 40 movies today. How many did you guys do? We did 41! <laughs> Alright, well it still comes down to the voting at the end of the video. Mm. Um, so let's get to editing. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I actually rented out a movie theater and invited all of my friends and nobody showed up, but my mom invited all of her friends from her Bible study and they came. And we spent the next day getting all of our edits done, all to lead up to this big award, the Connie Awards, named after my friend Connor. This is where we really put our films to the test and where you get to finally see the actual work that we made in those 24 hours. I was filmmaker number one, my brother was filmmaker number Number two, so that meant my films went first. And after the audience watches both filmmakers' films, they will vote on who they think did best. They were my favorite. Was that Titanic? They were so good. <laughs> yeah, Titanic. Hey, uh, I know things have been kind of rocky at best, Monica. Jared, but what did I tell you? Did all this with I told one you. little light. Don't wear a cardigan to dinner with my father. What did I tell you? Say, don't wear a cardigan. A cardigan. Say it with me. I said, don't wear a cardigan to dinner with my father because cardigans give him really bad allergies. You said that at nauseum. And what did you wear to dinner, Jared? A cardigan. A cardigan. I just thought that maybe. No! I told you don't wear a cardigan! And now you're gonna come here with this rose! Don't wear the cardigan, Jared! Tinder really needs to do background checks on, on their customers. <laughs> Our AI assistant drone is on the road! <laughs> It's a masterpiece. Did you, did you want to, you can, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You really see me. I know. Hey, <laughs> look at me, look at me. Shh, I know. You're free. Look at me. Hey, <laughs> you're free. shower and privacy anymore? Notice you got the wrong room. Give it up for filmmaker number one. Excellent work, excellent cinematography, and now presenting filmmaker number two.
It's your 10 minute morning workout. Let's get moving, come on. Side to side, let's step it out and get the heart rate up. Don't quit on me, don't quit. You feel it? When it starts getting hard, that's when you know it's working. It's so funny. It's broken. <laughs> Why? It's been really difficult to get any work done here today. It's very loud, uh, disruptive, unorganized. The manager clearly has no idea what he's doing. So yeah, uh, I play as Quintorius, the dark elf paladin. <laughs> a bit of a, like a sword magic type thing, and uh, it's great. I, I got a critical role last night, it was awesome. Natural 20, very nice. I'm sorry, what? No, no, I don't, I don't work here. <laughs> Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. We're down to our final question for our couple. If you could describe your love life using a movie title, what would that title be? Um, I'd have to say The Fast and the Furious. Whoa! And you, sir? Home Alone. Looks like we got some work to do here. We'll be back in two and two. No, I am the father. Place your hand upon it. <gasps> is that an Uno deck? This is my kid's deck. How did you... Shh. Your future lies in the balance. This is my wife's jacket. Who are you? Are you even... Draw four! Oh my lord in heaven. So you want to learn how to rap? And you don't want to do it like crap? Well, I'm going to teach you the steps. These are the steps you got to take to be a rapper. First off, you got to talk to the camera like the Beastie Boys. Sabotage! And the next step, you got to have attitude. And the last step is a three-party. You got to have rhyming, timing, and crime. Beverly, Beverly, you dropped your pocket. So how have things been going? Good. I think we're we're really making progress since we started our sessions. We, we're doing really good. I just think it'd be better if you two talked. No, uh, talked about leaving each other. Here's the thing. I have a reservation at Tostanos tonight at eight. You, me, some apps, some wine, wine and dine. Ladies and gentlemen, beneath your seats, you will find an index card and a pen. If you would please vote on your favorite filmmaker so we can decide the winner of the first annual Connie Award. Despite how much fun I had competing against my brother, it was in this moment that I started feeling those warm, fuzzy feelings inside. I'm excited. You see, ever since I was a little kid, my brother and I would make home videos together. Usually I was the one behind the camera and he was the one on camera. And some of the best memories of our lives were recorded on my parents' VHS camcorder. So standing next to my brother, looking out into the audience and seeing my parents, my wife and my children there, it all started to hit me. Making a hundred movies in 24 hours is kind of meaningless, but doing it with the people that I love and having a blast while doing it is really all that matters. The winner of the first annual Connie Awards goes to... Filmmaker one, which is David. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. I was honestly not expecting to win. And I'm so grateful for the 24 hours that I just spent with my brother and my best friends. 